Knowing about tools GUI, its shortcuts are so important to make design process efficient. In this video, I'll give you detailed overview of CAD and SORCAD capture, including creating project, page setup, property editor and shortcuts. So let's get started. In the first step, we'll learn how to create a new project. For that, go to the file, new and click over create new project. You have to browse for the location where you wanted to save the project. In my case, it is desktop. Select the folder. What is the name you want to create? In my case, it is RCAD underscore demo. You can enable the piece by simulation if you wanted to do that for your circuit. Otherwise, you can just disable it and click OK. And as you can see, the project is created. And here you can see the schematic and its page. You can edit the name of the schematic and its page anytime during the design process. Let's move to another step. To change the size of your schematic page, you have to go to the option and select schematic page properties. And in this section, you can change between units. Either you can go for inches or millimeters. And here we have some set of standard page sizes and a custom one. So you can use any of these as per your preferences. I always recommend to use standard page sizes if you are going to print one is to one the schematic design for review or other purpose. I'm going to select A4 here and in another tab, you can change the grid size for the schematic page. Let's click OK. Let's talk about to navigate around this page using the mouse scroll and control. You can zoom in and zoom out the page and using scroll. You can just move the page up and down and if you will hold the shift key and scroll, it will move left and right. Now let's talk about few very important shortcuts to make schematic design time efficient. First one is P. By pressing P, a place part tab will open. Using it, you can add components on a schematic page by just double clicking over component. Let's close it first. Now another shortcut key is R. Using R, you can rotate any part. So first you have to just select the component and press R on your keyboard and you can simply rotate the part. Another shortcut key is W. Using W, you'll get access to place wire and by just clicking over any pin, you can simply place wires there. And once it is done, you can just right click and click over end wire. Another shortcut key is N. By pressing N on your keyboard, you can able to place nets on any wire. For example, in this case, I just wanted to place interrupt underscore pin and using this color, you can just select any color you want. I always wanted to prefer red color on net names and click OK. You can simply go there and place all these net names on wires. After placing the net name, you can just right click and click over end mode. For placing Text on your schematic page, you can use a shortcut key T. First, you have to just select the schematic page and just press T on your keyboard. And using that, you can able to place any text you want. So in my case, I just wanted to place circuit number one. And here you can change the color, whatever you want to select. And you can change the font size as well. In my case, I just wanted to go for 18. Okay. And you can place this text anywhere you want. Another shortcut key is if you wanted to delete whatever is placed on your schematic page, what you have to do, you have to just simply select it and press delete on your keyboard. And the selected component text or image can be easily deleted from the schematic page. Let's see the property editor in little more detail. First, we have to place couple of component on the schematic page. For that, select the schematic page and press P on your keyboard. Now here I'm just going to add the library file I have created. For that, click over this add library button and select the library file, press open. Here I have created three component. For placing these component, you have to just double click on these or double click. Let's suppose I wanted to rotate it or zoom in, I'll just I just press control on keyboard and, and scroll down so I can able to zoom in there. Let's place this first component, right click and mode. Now I wanted to rotate this connector, press R on your keyboard. Now I'm going to place register and LED. 
next step is we have to just connect these through a wire for placing a wire between components press w on your keyboard now i'm going to place ground and similarly you can place power port for that you can select whatever you wanted to do i just wanted to place vcc bar and you can edit it anytime in my case it is plus 3v3 okay so till here we have created the schematic to edit the properties of these three component you have to just select these component using control and just clicking over these and press enter then you will get this kind of table and here on each column we have different component you can edit or add new property using this button to this one for example for this register i just wanted to add tolerance to add the tolerance on this one i just click over new property yes and this name will be let's say tolerance its value will be 1% we'll click over apply and okay yes cancel so as you can see the tolerance is added to the register if you are using other passive component you can add tolerances for those as well if you'll go back to schematic and here i just wanted to display the tolerance for that what i have to do i have to just go back to pcb editor select tolerance right click click over display and here you have to select what you wanted to display so I'll select I just wanted to display value only so let's click over ok go back to your schematic page yes and you can see the tolerance is added on this one so you can you can just shift it wherever you want and for different component so either you can delete it or you can just double click on this one and click over do not display Let's suppose I have created multiple pages of a schematic and I wanted to review it and during review process I want to look for a particular component then what is the process to find it. Let's suppose in this schematic I just wanted to find R1. To do that you have to just select the schematic and press Ctrl F on your keyboard and here you can search for the component designator. I just wanted to search for R1 and click over find button. And as you can see, we got all the details about R1 component. Let's say I wanted to import schematic files from different other tools or I wanted to import libraries from other tools. I can do that directly. For that, you have to just click over file, import, and here you'll get all the options. So you can import pspice, edif and pd files. You can also extract the design from XML. You can extract the library from XML file. If you have a Altium schematic, you can just translate it into ORCID capture. Similarly, you can do that for Eagle tool. I will discuss these in a separate video. But as of now, you can understand we can import these many information into ORCID capture. Now let's talk about how we can create a PDF file of our schematic page. First method is using ghost script. But as of now, we'll talk about the other method. For that, you have to just go to the file, click over print setup. And here you can select the page size you are using and you can select Microsoft print to PDF and whatever the orientation you wanted you can select here and click OK. Now what you have to do you have to just select your design file and click over print button. If you wanted to scale it you can just click over the scaling or you can change the page size you can you can put offsets here you can also change the print quality number of copies etc and after that click over ok now it will ask where you wanted to save it what is what will be the name of the pdf i just wanted to save it on in desktop and just name it demo save all right let's go back to desktop and open it and as you can see the PDF for this schematic is created. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.